Hey folks, in my last video, I mentioned asset criticality as something that you should do when you're looking at focusing your efforts to make an impact on your business. And I mentioned, hey, look that up. Well, I kind of felt bad about that, so I thought I'd make a real quick video here talking about what asset criticality is because it is very important to your business. So let's go through an example. This is a pretty a recent example for me of, of a company I was working with. Uh, they had four types of machines. They had cutting machines. They were making tents, okay? So they were cutting the material, cutting out in forms or based on a form, but they were computer controlled. Then it went to, the product went to four different types of sewing machines, okay? And there were 20 of type A, 10 of type B, 10 of type C, and one of type D. So they're not all the same sewing machine. They have different capabilities. Then the material went to a radio frequency welder. We had six of those. And then it went to one CNC machine to make the poles uh, and, and some of the aluminum structure to support these tents, okay? Not important, you know exactly what we're doing here, but the process moves from left here to right. Okay, now all these assets are not treated the same. You know, for example, if we got to 100% reliability on one of these assets, does it make a difference? One of these 20, does that make a difference to the business? No, uh, in this business case, you know, they actually had, you know, six or seven extra that were really not in use at any given time. Uh, you know, we used about 14 of these, so we had an extra one. So making reliability improvements here, you know, it's all good. Reliability is always worth some money, but not as impactful here as it may be down here or at these radio frequency welders or even this CNC machine. So all assets aren't treated the same. So when you're looking at getting PM compliance from 0% to 100%, you know, there's an order to do that to get results front loaded, okay? So you may wanna work on this CNC machine first because it's gonna have the first business impact and can fund some of your future reliability improvements by making an impact there. So let's go through an example. Asset criticality is really just two numbers multiplied together. Probability and severity. Okay, probability. What's the probability of, an, of a defect uh, or a problem, a failure occurring? So let's go to the CNC machine. Okay, the CNC machine, all products go through there. So the probability, you know, we, we, I gave it an assessment of a four on a scale from one to five because it's a 20-year-old machine and we haven't been doing PMs on it. For 20 years we just plug it in and it goes we're not doing anything the factory rep comes in once a year does a few things but we're not doing our daily checks there's no operator care there's no monthly maintenance we don't feel good at all about how we've been taking care of this 20 year old machine so i have it as a four you may argue it's a five but you know that that's not critically important that that you label it either four or five it's it's just that that's a high number okay staying with the cnc machine What's, what's the, um, the impact, the impact of, of that machine going out? So it's got a four probability, pretty high probability. What's the impact? When that CNC machine goes down, we stop production. We stop production. There's nobody in the local community that we can rent this asset from. You know, it may, they, we may be able to buy a new one and have it delivered and installed in six months. But that's six months of lost production. This is a big, big deal. If this piece of equipment goes down, basically everything shuts down. Total chaos. We can do some things uh, to get production through, contract out some work with some uh, a limited CNC capability in the community, but not like our equipment here. So the, the severity is a five. So you take four times five, and so that CNC machine has an asset criticality of 20. And you could do that for every asset through here, okay? You don't spend much more time on it than I just did. Have some logic. You get together a small team, four or five people, and just say, hey, what happens when this goes down? You know, can we, can we hire somebody on the outside to do that work? Do we have extra machines that, hey, it's not that big of a deal? Asset criticality. Then what you can do is you make a grid, okay? So I'm gonna erase this. And what you do is you make a grid of all your assets. You know, and you say, okay, this, this is probability. And this is severity. 
as you go this way. Okay, so if you have, this is one through five, and this is one through five, and you create a grid here, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, <laughs> one, two, three, four. Okay, so you create a little grid there. So this CNC machine was a severity of five and probability of four, it's right here. Okay, so that, that was a 20. Okay, so this makes sense to you. So what you'll do is you'll say, hey, what, these, these assets that are in this corner here, I'm going to work on. Those are the ones that have high severity and a high probability. This is where I'm going to be focusing my PM compliance. I might maybe focusing my problem solving, maybe focusing my lubrication, maybe uh, uh, operator care, but that's where I'm going to focus. If I focus down here, you know, you're focused on things that have a low probability and low, low severity. So asset criticality is a really neat tool. You don't need to buy anything. You just uh, learn a little bit of math here, where to put them in the, co uh, the, the uh, uh, coordinates, and that's based on a small team at your plant, and then focus your efforts there. Asset criticality, very big deal, where to start. You'll front load your results. You'll start getting results here and start getting some enthusiasm with upper management. They'll start to want to invest. And then you said, hey, maybe we need to train some people on precision maintenance. Maybe we need to get some lube techs out there. Maybe we need to get some instrumentation to do IR. All that kind of stuff comes from the quick results you can get by using asset criticality to focus your efforts so that it makes a difference. This is Joe out.